holly berries are a much anticipated decoration for a wintertime landscape. And if you've waited patiently all year round for these colorful droops to arrive and there are none, you're likely to wonder why. Well, it can be for several reasons, and some of them are really simple, like the holly tree just might be too young. Some hollies take up to two years, some even up to five years before they're even able to start producing berries. Another reason why you might not be getting any berries involves pollination, and this is where things can get a little bit involved, but don't worry, it'll all make sense in just a moment. But out of the several hundred species of hollies, most of them are dioecious, and that means that the male flower and the female flower reside on two different trees and it's only the pollinated female flower that will produce berries. So if you have a male holly, then no berries. If you have a female holly that doesn't have a male holly in the vicinity to pollinate it, then once again, no berries. So if your holly doesn't have any berries, how can you tell whether it's because you have a male holly that doesn't produce berries, or it's because you have a female holly that isn't getting pollinated by a male holly? Now it's very difficult to tell a male holly from a female holly just by looking at it, except for when it's in bloom. And if you look closely at the flower, the female flower has a large rounded pistil, and that is actually the part of the flower that will turn into the berry. And if that's what your holly has, then berries are a possibility. And you can hope that there's a male holly in the neighborhood somewhere that will pollinate it, or you can purchase your own male holly through a grower and plant it somewhere in your landscape. It does not need to be adjacent to this holly. The pollinating insects will find it. And one male holly can pollinate many. Now, if you have a berry producing holly, realize that pruning will affect berry production, at least to some extent. And that has to do with the flower cycle, which remember the flower becomes the berry. Flower buds are set on last year's new growth. So in the winter time, the buds for those future flowers are on the tree. So pruning during the winter, you're gonna remove some of those flower buds. And in the springtime, those flowers need to be present in order to be pollinated and then remain on the tree until they can present themselves as a berry in the winter time. So there really isn't a time of year where pruning won't somehow impact berry production. Now, sometimes pruning is a necessity, especially if a holly is planted near a house, or sometimes it's just preferred if you favor a more formal sheared look. And you know, less berries is just part of the compromise. Now a word of caution about timing and pruning. If you prune too late in the summer or in the fall, then that new tender growth might not have time to harden off before winter weather comes, making it very susceptible to frost damage. So if you don't have berries on your holly and you don't think it's for any of the reasons that I just mentioned, make an appointment with an arborist and they can come, inspect the site, inspect the soil, and make recommendations.